All right, Shalom. Of course, before I begin, I want to give all the praises, all glory, and all honor unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai Hashem, and I also want to give double honors unto the elders and apostles, the great millstone, the men whom we learned this truth from. All right. Also want to say Shalom, Wa Barakim, La Habakarim, Shal Yasharala, which means peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of uh, of, of Israel. All right. Which the nation of Israel, which is the true biblical Israel, that's you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. All right? and those of you that descend from blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans on your father's side. So, uh, I just want to, you know, bring some precepts out. Got precepts lined up. Lord's willing, it'll be edifying to the elect. Of course, you know, making this video first and foremost, you know, uh, for myself, man. Because what? Well, actually, I'm going to get into the scriptures. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou, therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right, because we are now, us, you know, men serving Yahweh Shem Shai, our soldiers, man. All right, we are in a spiritual war. All right, <laughs> day in, day out, in a spiritual war against these demons. All right, you know, uh, basically... You know, when we, we come in to serve the Lord, we have to prepare our soul for temptation. All right? Like it says in Sirach, the second chapter. So when we serve Yahweh Shem Shai, we're going to go through things. All right? <laughs> so it says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right? Yeah, because we're going to, you know, go through some things, man. All right? But we have to endure. Okay? Let me get something real quick. Because the scriptures say that the servant is not greater than the master, right? And what? Yahweh Shai suffered, all right? And the scriptures also say, uh, you know, uh, well, basically, you know, the scriptures speak about how, uh, man, I can't remember what it said, and I don't want to misquote it, but, you know, basically, we have to carry our cross, so to speak, you know? Uh, this is First Peter's uh, 4 and 1, for as much as then as Yahweh Shai hath suffered for us in the flesh, so lock it. <coughs> Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. Yeah, so yeah, I wish I suffered for us in the flesh, man. <coughs> so lock it. <coughs> so you know, if he you know, he suffered in he suffered in the flesh, man. Hey, we're we're gonna suffer in the flesh. Of course we're not gonna, you know, suffer like like he suffered, but where we are going to go through afflictions, all right? And here's the point in verse 4. 2 Timothy 2 and 4. No man that warreth entangleth himself, himself <coughs> with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. <coughs> yeah, exactly, man. All right? And we're at war, all right? And what? We're not supposed to entangle ourselves with the affairs of this life. Okay? <coughs> so lock it. <laughs> and what, man? The, fa the affairs of this life? Hey, man, this place is, is, is polluted every which way, man. So we shouldn't set a heart, our, our heart upon... Uh, <coughs> so lock it. We shouldn't set our heart, you know, upon the things of this world, man. Okay? That's basically what I want to really... You know, touch on okay. Uh, we have to remember that now we we were called to serve you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? And that's that's what we're supposed to be doing, and that's supposed to be our main priority in this world. All right, <coughs> so lock you. Basically, that's our main priority in this uh generation, man. This this uh this incarnation that that we are living. All right, because what after because th this place is, is prophecy that America. Is gonna be destroyed. This this is gonna the fashion of this world passeth away. All right. So you know I don't want to ramble on. Let me read it again. Second Timothy two and four. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. How do we please Yahweh Shmi Shai? Well, I'm gonna go to that scripture real quick. Hebrews eleven and six. This lets us know how to please Yahweh Shmi Shai. <laughs> 
Uh, but without faith, Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right? So your faith is how you uh, please <coughs> Salakia. Your faith is how you please your Habba Shem Yahushai, man. <laughs> all right? Which faith is a gift that Habba Shem Yahushai gives you anyway. All right? That's within the scriptures. Okay? So. How do you prove your faith to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai? Doing what He told you to do. All right, that's how that's how you prove your faith. That's how you show forth your faith. You show your faith by your works, which is also in the scriptures. So I'm gonna go to Romans, the twelfth chapter, and read the first verse. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Yeah, it's our reasonable service to be serving Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All right, to put what we want to do to the side. All right, to 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 forsake this world. All right, and come and serve Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man, which is a beautiful thing, man. All right, because the Heavenly Father called you. All right, the Heavenly Father called us to come serve Him. So us putting our stuff to the side and saying, man, I don't care about this world. You know, of course, we're gonna live here. We're gonna make a living and such, and 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 live in this society, to, and 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 you know, uh, do certain things in, in this world right now. But we're not gonna be fully given into uh, this world, the ways of this world. All right, and that's what the eight. I'm gonna read the next the next verse uh, real quick, and then go back to the top. Romans twelve and two, and be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Exactly, man. Because we're not to, um, we're not to basically, uh, be so I can be engulfed in to the ways of this society, okay? Because now we're we're putting off, we're actually putting off the ways of this society, which is our old. Uh, way of being It's a lot You know So Be not conformed to this world But be transformed by the renewing of your mind Which we do that by what Living according to the scriptures Living according to what Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has commanded us To do And uh, like uh, Romans, I'm going to read Romans 12 and 1 again I beseech you therefore brethren Romans 12 and 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of the Most High That you present your bodies a living sacrifice Holy acceptable unto the Most High Which is your reasonable service <laughs> Exactly man It's our reasonable service to serve Yahweh Hashem I'm going to get a scripture The next scripture I wanted to get is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 man Alright and I'm going to get into some Hebrew Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Exactly. Our duty as Israelites, all right, is to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. Point blank, period. That's what we're supposed to be doing, all right? Mm. Now, I'm going to go to that word, uh, fear. It's the Hebrew word, yara, which means to fear, revere, be afraid. What that word, revere, means? Uh, should uh, revere means feel deep respect or admiration for something, yeah. And we fear Yahweh Shem Yahushai. We we reverence Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man. All right. <laughs> so basically, because you know you you got people out there that uh, say foolish things like, "What is the meaning of life?" You know, you hear people say stupid stuff like that. You know because. They they are ignorant people who, you know, live their life according to their the desires of their own mind. All right, they 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 live according to the flesh. <laughs> you know, well, hey, the meaning of life for Israelites is to fear Yahweh Hashem All right, basically, you know, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm gonna get it real quick. Exodus twenty. Uh, where is it? Exodus. 23 Aha Thou shalt have no other gods before me Talk about we're not supposed to have any other gods uh, Before the Lord man Alright we're not supposed to serve other gods Okay That's what I want to get real quick 
Because what, man? It says, the scripture said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Okay? And the first and the, the first commandment is what, man? Thou shalt have no other gods before the Lord, man. Okay? We're supposed to serve Yah Bashim Shai. Point blank, period. All right? As Israelites. Hey, that's part of... Uh, that that's part of uh, the covenant we made with the heavenly Father. All right, when we was in the wilderness. All right, when we left Egypt. Okay. And I want to get off track, so I'm gonna go to my next scripture in Matthew's the sixth chapter because the whole, pretty much what I what the main thing I wanted to make this video on is, you know, basically how, because lately you know I've been thinking about how. Um. You know, we're we are we're here physically in the world, but spiritually speaking, our mind is not here, so to speak. Our mind is on the things to come. All right. Well, our mind is on the kingdom, man, because we truly want that, man. All right. We look for a place where we're enjoying righteousness. OK, we 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 know this society is polluted. All right. We know that the ways of this world lead to death, you know. Of course, we have to live here right now, but hey, man, the main thing that we really want to, uh, Salakia, the thing that we really want is the kingdom of heaven, man. We want to be able to be righteous 100%. All right. So this is Matthew chapter 6, and I'm going to just get uh, nine verses 19 through 20. Oh. Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Yeah, because, um, you know, upon this, 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 this uh, earth, man, everything is corruptible right now, man. All right, because right now, what? First off, we're Israelites and we're living as uh, mortal men. All right, so our bodies corrupt. We get older. We we, we age. All right. Uh. You know, everything here is it just corrupts, man. All right? Everything. Okay? You, you know, you, you get some new shoes, man. Hey, man. Especially, you know, brand new white shoes. For Just for an example, man. You know, as time goes on, they get older. You know? So lay not up for your treasure, Salakia. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. <laughs> right, man. You know, what what... What you have uh, physically right now, man, is here today, gone tomorrow. All right? You got a girl. She's here today, gone tomorrow. You got some money. <laughs> that's definitely here today and gone tomorrow, living in this society. And that's a curse upon our people, by the way. All right? Uh, hey, man. Anybody can take your car, can take your money, can take your jewelry, man. All right? But uh, something that, you know, people can't take from you is the word, man. All right? People can't take that from you. All right? These people cannot steal the word from you, okay? That's something that the Heavenly Father, only the Heavenly Father uh, can touch those things, all right? As far, you know, spiritually speaking, the spiritual things that we have obtained, okay? Um, verse 20, Salakia, Matthew 6 and 20, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. Right, man, build up your spiritual bank account. All right, send up spiritual sacrifices to Yahweh Shem Shai. Do the work, do your videos, study to show yourself approved. Go out there on the highways and the byways, present your body as a living sacrifice, man. Okay, you know, do what the Lord has commanded you to do, man. The scriptures say, "Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, that you should go forth, uh, that you should go and bring forth fruit." You know, so we need to do what we were allotted to do, man, which is go out and bring forth fruit. OK. Uh, let me see. Uh, I guess I'll get um, verse 21. Yeah. Uh, verse 20, verse 20 again. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. Right, man. Because what the scriptures say. Um, that the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love, man. All right? If you continue in these things... Actually, we brought this precept out at camp. I wasn't planning on getting it. I I don't want to just, you know, salak you. Uh, 
Oh man, what, what, what chapter was it? I believe. So, like, let me check my physical sword. I know where it's at. My sword. Yep. Uh, First Timothy's four, in verse sixteen. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt save. Slakia, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Exactly, man. All right, because the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. All right, if we continue to hold the faith and to continue to to show our do the works, which is showing our faith, we continue to do those things. We continue to remain in the sound doctrine that our elders and apostles have taught us and continue on in these things that we were taught, man, to the very end. Amen. Um, you know, you will be delivered, man. All right? That's why Yahweh Shai said um, in Revelation, the third chapter, he said this. Yep, Salakia. Revelation 3 and 10, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, which we know about, you know, the hour of temptation, the microchip, you know, Esau coming down with great wrath and such, those things. I'm going to keep reading. To try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Exactly, man. Hold that fast which thou hast. What do we have, man? We have the faith in Yah, Bashem, Shai. We have the, the word, man. We have that of uh, the law, man. We have that exemption from judgment as long as we continue on in the sound doctrine, man. As long as we continue in what we were taught, we, um, you know... As long as we remain within the truth, man, the Heavenly Father is with us. <coughs> so, like, yeah. so, yeah, that's the point, man. Because thou hast kept, yeah, like I said it, man, Revelation uh, 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. All right, that's Yahweh Shai speaking. This is a red letter, man. All right? And uh, and the Lord is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man uh, that, uh, that he should repent. Let me get that real quick. So, like, yeah. I think it's in Numbers. Yeah, Numbers 23 and 19. The Most High is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Hath he said, hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Exactly. All right. So, Yahweh Shai said, you know, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. All right. So, our faith is that as long as we do what we're supposed to do, all right, and don't get caught up in this world. Okay, this wicked ass world. We don't get caught up in the wickedness of this world. Okay, but instead we remain uh, within the scriptures and remain within uh, walking by the spirit, so to speak. Yeah, walking by the spirit and and not the flesh. All right, walking more within the spirit. Amen. Yahweh Shemuel Shai got us, man. Going back to uh, what I read in Second Timothy's, no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. Okay, because what? Uh, uh, basically, man, uh, when you're, when you're entangled with the affairs of this life, that causes you to what? To go off, to not be within, uh, 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 uh the truth, man, so to speak, okay? And that's pretty much all the precepts that I wanted to get. Lord's willing, this was edifying, man. So we have to continue on to the things that we were taught and, and not be so into the world, but instead to continue on. In um and in, in serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh All right, so Lord, well, this was uh, uh edifying. All right, for uh the elect unto the elect, man. All right, so I want to say, call all Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Akakodash. Wa. Uh, Shalom, O Salakia. I also want to give double honors unto the elders and apostles, a great millstone, the men who were well. And I also want to say Shalom, Barakim, La Habakariam, Shalya Shur Allah, peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.